There is a phrase used in the world of psychology, and it is partly true. The real patients are out there, and the people who go to psychologists and psychiatrists are the people those patients have harmed and made sick. Narcissistic and psychopathic people are behind this reality. Today, I will talk about the phrases that narcissists around you, who may potentially harm you, often use. At least if you know these, it will be easier for you to protect yourself against these people. One of the most common methods narcissists use is to deprive and isolate their victims from the people they love. In this way, when the victim gets away from the people who support them, they will become weaker and weaker and dependent on the narcissist. The narcissist will be able to use that person easily and achieve his goal. And how does he do this? We are enough for us and we will take care of our problems. With this sentence. At first glance it seems like a very innocent and beautiful sentence, as if the other person will support you under all circumstances. It is a very loving sentence. But no truly loving person would ever want the person they love or the friend they love not to see other people. Because a person cannot live with only one person. We have family, history and friends. If someone says this sentence to you, you need to be careful. Narcissistic people do not have empathy skills. If the other person is suffering and in a difficult situation, going through the hardest things in the world, the narcissist doesn't care. These things are just data for him. The only thing he cares about is his own interests and goals. So if you have a problem or trouble when you are with that person, or if the narcissist criticizes you and upsets you, you should realize it and apologize for it. A normal person who really loves and is normal will realize his, her mistake and will do everything in his, her power to make it right if it upsets you. But if the other person blames you when you express your hurt and says things like, you are such a sensitive person, you care about everything, you are too emotional, you need to evaluate the other person. We all have psychological defense mechanisms to cope with life. One of them is projection psychology. This is a mechanism that narcissists use very often. They transfer what is lacking in themselves or in themselves to the other person. For example, if he is an angry person, if the other person raises his voice, he immediately uses the projection tactic. By saying that you are very angry, irritable and impatient, he pretends that you are the one who is angry. Let's draw a scenario like this. Let the narcissistic person share all his, her problems with you and ask for help. You have supported him, her with all your strength, even ignoring yourself and standing by that person. One day things go wrong for you and you share your problems with that person. And you get a sentence like this. It's not all about you. You care too much about yourself. You are not the only one in this world. If the person approaches you with such an approach, I recommend you to be careful. Narcissistic people are really dangerous and they manipulate the other person with their words. If things and plans are not going the way he she wants, he she will trap and manage you with his her words. Narcissistic people are also intelligent, so they know how to hurt the other person. So how do they do it best? Let's say there is a narcissist around you. It could be one of your family or friends, but it could also be your lover or spouse. When you disagree with that person, even if you are right, they may immediately say something like, I am not surprised that nobody likes you. You are not a likable person. You are not liked by your friends or your environment. You are not liked at work. Even if this is really the case, if a person says these things to you, they are not trying to help you or make you better. They want to manage you in their own trap and take advantage of you. This person may be someone you love very much and cannot give up, but you need to know that this person is consciously manipulating you and is not doing you any good. Please be very careful with this situation. Many people encounter narcissistic people in their lives. Sometimes it can even be a friend at work or our boss. You are traveling with these people for part of your life. But one day, you may realize that this person is harming you. And if you try to leave that person at that moment, they may say to you something like, You have come this far because of me. If you are at work or in this environment today, it is because of me. When you try to break up with that person, even if in reality it's nothing to do with that, even if you have helped them, when you try to break up with them, you put them in a crisis. And at that moment, especially at the beginning, he might say something like that to blame you. They try to manipulate you by acting as if he or she has built and organized everything for you. Narcissistic people always want to keep themselves in a superior position in relationships and try to create such a perception. They do this in two ways. Firstly, they make their possessions and talents seem unique and that you don't have them. It creates a perception that you need him in every situation and that you have to be with him for these things. This is a very powerful manipulation. The second method is to constantly devalue you. It makes you feel so worthless that after a while you start to feel worthless thinking that you might be right. We can even give an example like this. 
People who are in a relationship with a narcissistic person say exactly this after they break up. When I wasn't with him, when he wasn't in my life, I was very confident and sure of myself, but now I feel extremely inadequate and worthless. My life turned into a big paranoia after I met him and I lost faith in myself. This is a method of manipulation that almost all narcissistic people use. They make you dependent on them. They make you see no one else but him. They make you feel that you need him. At the same time, when you are going to break up with him, you may also hear, nobody will love you, nobody will care about you except me, because you are already worthless. Even if you try a relationship with someone else, you will be happy and you will still look for me. He is bluffing you by saying these things because he will feel worthless if you leave. He uses all kinds of psychological warfare to condemn you. People often act exactly the opposite of what they say. So you need to look at what people do, not what they say. Remember, a murderer or a criminal will never admit his guilt. He will claim to be the best person in the world if you try to reason with him. Your reference point should always be behavior. Thank you for listening to me, my friend. I hope you can identify the narcissists in your life and take action. If you enjoyed the video, you can support me by subscribing and liking. I know it annoys you to say this, but we just want to be rewarded for our efforts. Take care of yourself until the next video. Goodbye.